guys, welcome back to the channel and I'm excited today to show you the M235 IR from BMW Motorsport. We did some trick things with it. Car makes a lot more power now, but let me just show you kind of the special stuff that makes it a race car and makes it a factory race car and how cool that is for me. First thing is you'll notice it has this crazy camo livery on it. It actually doesn't come that way from BMW. It comes body in white, which is mostly how all the GT4 cars come. GT3 cars, the M235 IRs, and this is the entry level car that BMW offered. They no longer offer this. They offered this car. Then there was an aero update, kept the same motor, which is N55. There was a 240 IR. Then when those kind of went to the wayside, they came out with an M2 CSR, which was an M2 chassis base. They've always offered the M4 GT4 cars, and now the new G82 M4 GT4 cars are starting to be delivered, which is a car we may have coming. We may have one of those on the way. Let me just take you around this. So everything body-wise on the car is factory BMW Motorsport. It has wider track. It has that front splitter. The BBS Motorsport wheels come with the car. These cars are set up from BMW Motorsport in a couple different fashions. Some are set up for club racing, which is like, you know, like a short sprint races for World Challenge. This particular car was raced in World Challenge in 2018. Used to be owned by BMW of San Francisco. Guy is a well-known collector of classic stuff. He also had a couple of these cars. So the first customer that we had bought the car from them originally. A car had been used in World Challenge and he was using it as a track day car. He then sold it to another customer who also was using it as their track day car and what they're learning from. The customer brought it back to us. We actually took out the motor. We refreshed the whole entire thing, went to our machine shop, got a whole fresh new motor. We went through the whole entire, whole entire thing, main bearings, rod bearings, did new piston rings. Uh, we did valve seats. We did everything you kind of need to refresh a motor like this that's gonna be beat on. And previously we had tuned this with a pure stage two turbo. And we actually upgraded this turbo to the new prototype turbo from Pure, which is a manif different manifold. It's a little bit of a tighter profile manifold with a new turbo technology, which we'll be releasing soon. It actually is on this car. And this car is making on the dyno now about 460 wheel horsepower, which is not the highest number. We're not really trying to get 700 wheel with this car. The car needs to be reliable. The temperatures need to be low. Oil temps and coolant temps need to come need to be low. The guy's in Florida, so he's gonna be at Sebring. He's gonna go to Roebling. He's gonna be doing a lot of hot weather stuff. So we really wanted the car to be consistent every time he went out. Every lap is consistent, but we bumped the power uh, because he really wants to compete with his buddies that have the Porsche Cayman club sport cars, the GT4 club sport cars. So this is a pretty formidable uh, you know, opponent now with, with the power that it's making. And this has a special ECU. So this is not a standard N55 ECU. It's actually a Bosch Motorsport ECU. We worked with Active Auto Work with Carl and them on tuning it. There's really few people that have unlocked the Bosch DMEs that are able to do a tune like this. So of course, Active has been our long-term partner since 2008. So we went with their software. It's got some other uh, upgrades kind of under the engine bay, which I can show you. Let me open the hood real quick. The car actually came with a Dynan intake on it. Um, it's not, it, it, it looks good and it's functional. Uh, it's not the one I probably would have recommended, but looks good on the car. We kept it, it's not losing power. It, it makes a good amount of power. Of course, you can't see the turbo from here. This is a cool motor because it's an N55. It has the S55 oil pan oil pickup system. It also has the S55 oil filter stand and oil, oil system. Um, it has a mechanical dipstick, which is a really cool thing on the race cars. And it just has, you know, as you can see, like it has the carbon strut brace. This is a fact, this comes on this car factory. It also has the aluminum top brace, which is M3. BMW had parts on the shelf that makes the non M cars better and they use them. They use the oil pan, they use the stuff that matters for this car to get the cooling down, to have higher oil capacity for the N55. It's just kind of a neat, neat thing to see. And there's a really cool plaque over here from BMW Motorsport that says it's car number 1550 M235 IR Racing. This car actually comes from BMW also with KW competition coilovers. These are not the street version of KW. These are the full motorsport race version of them. We actually are going to swap this over to a set of Moton three ways in the future. Uh, we wanted to get some more travel and stroke in and I'm, I'm a lot more familiar with the Moton name as most of you know. Car also has a fire suppression system in it. It's got some nozzles in here for the engine. It's got some nozzles in the inside for the driver and the passenger. There's some kill switches and stuff. And you know, it's just neat to see it's all from BMW. 
It's not aftermarket. You know, we do build some race cars and stuff at the shop and there's always kind of a trick to making these aftermarket parts fit because, you know, fire suppression systems and kill switches are for the most part a generic part that we make fit into a race car. These are actually pieces that BMW made from what they had and obviously they're aftermarket, but they made really cool brackets like the bracket here for the fire system. I mean, the kill switches, like when I go and I close the hood, the battery battery connection and the emergency cutoff for the, uh, for the fire system is here. Really neat switches. Let's walk around to the back. As you can see, the rear also has the wide body on it. it. It also continues here. That's just so you can run a wider track. This has a wider track, wider wheels, obviously, because it's a race car. This wing is the factory wing from BMW. It's carbon. This also has an air jack system, which is a really cool feature. Air jacks actually are mounted in cylinders as part of the roll cage you literally take nitrogen and plug it into the back here and it will lift the car so when you come into the pits and want to change the tires something's going on underneath the car you can quickly jack it up get underneath the car check it out we can show you those those nozzles and everything there's also really cool latches and stuff for the trunk back here to be able to open it part of the race car is this isn't even cut out to put the normal latch you see on the race cars the back of the trunk is pretty much just nothing. Of course, I showed you the nozzle for the air jacks. It's got the battery uh, down there, down low. This is a factory roll cage from BMW Motorsport, which is also cool. It's actually a bolt-in cage. You would normally expect a car to have a welded cage, but the reason it has a bolt-in cage is for repair. If you get in a, an accident with this car, they wanna be able to repair it. They wanna be able to take the bars out that are damaged and replace it with new. And you can actually buy the cage uh, from BMW. I think Wikers makes this in Germany for BMW. I'm not 100% sure, but looks like one. It's a it's chromoly. It's all certified. It has the BMW DIM number and everything on it. It's pretty cool. This actually has a MoTeC in it, which which is a telemetry and data system to just monitor temps and everything. This doesn't have a lot of the stock sensors on it, but it is plugged in to the OBD and to the MoTeC. And it's a pretty simple uh, MoTeC setup. Some of the stuff we added to kind of make this a cooler car and make it more of a track day club car, we put a camera system in. We also set up some of the tracks and some of the MoTeC. We actually loaded it with some of the MoTeC software so he can put times down, saves them into the car. There's a camera system that also uh, links up with the data and everything coming from the car so you can actually make a video and put all of that overlaid onto it again just to help improve the driver for the club stuff there's a really cool uh, shift uh, shift light system for motec as well this actually is an auto trans believe it or not these were all made this way they're not manual they're not dct but it shifts pretty good you know these cars were built to race in a series originally with only M235 IRs. When you race in a series of all M235 IRs, they're all the same. So it comes down to the drivers. The drivers really make you know, make the cars when you're in a series of all the same. You know, the other thing I'll point out is that there's a lot of differences that are on this car that make it a IR, but there's also a lot of the things that are the same. The body panels are the same. The interior gauges, the standard gauges, the dash is the same. The steering wheel is the same. This actually has an electronic wheel on it, but it is a factory part you can run on your road car. A lot of inside is the same. It has some in-performance Alcantara on it. There's a lot of you know things on it that, that are OE. There's no sunroof on this, but this is a standard roof panel. It's a metal roof panel. The hood is, is, a, is an OEM hood. Uh, the front splitter is the in-performance splitter. The diffuser and everything are all, all the same. You know They take cars off of the assembly line. They get taken to BMW Motorsport and then the cars get built. This is not some GT3 chassis, and the reason I bring up the GT3 is that GT3s are not built on the M4 platform. They're built on a full custom everything. So they do look like an M4, but they're not. The chassis are different. That's what's cool about these, and that's what's cool about the GT4 cars, because the GT4 M4, the G82, and the F82 cars are built from road cars. That's actually the uh, requirement for a GT4 car. The idea of the GT4 series is it's supposed to be a more cost-effective series with series cars. The chassis in your F82 and your G82 is the same chassis as the GT4 cars. There's a lot of other parts on there and there's a lot of differences in it, but it's cool. It's the same body. It's the same pressed together body. Most of the body panels are the same. So it's kind of a neat link to the street cars. And I mean, we work on these cars a lot. In 55 Motors, we do a lot in the shop. We do a lot of rebuilds. Uh, we just finished a fully built motor car that we did uh, for a convertible. Uh, this was a refresh that we did for N55, but we modify N55s a lot. We do a lot of tunes for them. This is a special project because we're not motor swapping it. We're trying to get the most that we can out of an N55. And we were able to do that 
we wanted to show you this car. It's a really cool car. I love BMW Motorsport stuff because I've always liked the race cars, but when you have a race car that comes from BMW, they've already gone through and made it the best they can be. And it's a great platform to work with and to continue to mod uh, for this customer. So we will take care of this car. So once he goes to the track, he'll bring the car back to us. We'll service it. We'll go through the car. We'll do a nut and bolt check on everything. And that's sort of how this goes. I mean, we have a couple cars that we take care of. Uh, this is one of them. So stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe and thanks again.